Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is valid number. A valid number can be split up into these components, a decimal number or an integer, or optional, an E or E, followed by an integer for scientific notations. Now, a decimal number can be split up into these components in order. Uh, there could be a sign character for plus or minus, or one of these formats. It could have one digit followed by a dot, so like two point, four point, that, that's fine. At least one digit followed by a dot and another digit, so like 4.4 or something like that, uh, or a dot followed by at least one digit, so 0 0.9, negative 0.9, that, that works as well. Now an integer can be split up into these components. Uh, it can have a sign character, plus or minus, and at least one digit. So you can see like all of these numbers are going to be valid right here, but these aren't. Like if it has any characters, like ABC, that doesn't work. Like 1E would work if it had some numbers afterwards, but but this does not. So that doesn't count. This doesn't count either because that does none of these are scientific notation. Um, this almost looks like it would work, but there's an A in the middle, so that doesn't work. Okay, one other thing, you can't have like minus minus or minus plus. Uh, that wouldn't be valid either. So there's all these conditions that we need to figure out. Um, there's like four things we can see, right? We can have numbers, we can have periods, we could have a symbol, or we could have an E. Those are all valid. But also the order matters and the number of times they appears matters. And all these conditions you have to like kind of think about. Now the easiest way you can do that is really like all these numbers you can see that they can be represented by a float. Um, so if we were able to convert this to a float, then that should technically mean that it's true. So we could just say like, all right, try um, make this into a float, and if it gives an exception, then return a false. Uh, otherwise, we can return a true, um, unless there's some edge cases where, like, we have infinite or or negative infinite or like infinity. Like, if stuff like that comes out, then uh, this would work, but technically that's not valid here, right? So, like, we can say uh, if nf in string also return a false just for the edge cases and this actually would work um this was like the first thing i thought of but apparently this isn't what they're going for it's kind of cheating so let's say that we're not allowed to use flow it's kind of it's kind of uh, not valid for this one how can we do this actually alg algorithmically uh well so we can see some examples here and i guess we'll try to figure it out as we go um so let's say that we want to have some booleans to mark what we've seen from before. We can have numbers, uh, we can call that digit, we can have symbol like plus or minus, or we can have E, or um, we can also have periods, right, for, for decimal points. Okay, so uh, we're going to have some booleans here to mar mark this all in order, because we can kind of do this conditionally if we uh, play our cards right and make sure that we flip and flop properly. So we can have digits, we can have decimal points, we can have E, we can have symbol, right? So all these start off with false. Now for character in S, um, let's think about what we might have. So this character might be a number. Uh, so if C in 0 to all the way to 9, then let's mark our digit to be equal to true. Okay, and there's really nothing else to that. Now what else? Um, now else if character is a, um, a symbol, plus or minus, so it's one of these, what do we want to do? Okay, so basically if We've already seen a symbol. That would mean this is not valid, so we have to return a false immediately. Or if we haven't seen um, a digit, no, 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 if we have seen a digit, right? If we have like five and then suddenly there's a plus, that wouldn't work either. Is that it? Then we have to return false. Here. Oh, okay, and decimal points as well we have a decimal point, that wouldn't work either. So we have to return a false immediately here. Otherwise, we're just going to flip our, um, our our symbol to now equal true. 
and and that should be it. Now, if C is in E or E, now this is a tricky one. Uh, let's see if. So let's think about what if we were to see an E or E, what would have to be the true? Uh, basically, digit better be true, right? Because there has to be a, a digit first, like two E, whatever. And we can't have seen another E before either. Like we can't have like E E E. So if uh, let's see if not digit or E, then we turn false immediately. Otherwise, E equals true, but E is a little bit tricky here because we actually would need to, um, we actually need to set everything else back as false because we could have a symbol here like plus or minus back in there. So we have to say symbol, flip that back to false. We also are obviously, we're not in a digit, so this would be pulled back to false as well. And I think decimal point has to be flipped back to false as well here. But I, I might be wrong about that. So let me just put a symbol here. Now what else? Else if C is equal to period, all we need, all we need to make sure is um, we can't have two decimals, right? So if decimal, then return false. And otherwise else set decimal equal to true. Now finally, if we find that any of these characters aren't in these, then we have to return a false immediately because obviously we that doesn't work. We can get out of this loop then, then we can return a true. And let's see if this works. I'm not actually sure. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and submit it. Ah, okay. Small. Oh, but this should be false. Oh, right, okay, so we're not gonna return a true here. We gotta make sure the very end is is a digit, I believe. Nine. No, actually, that's not true. Oh, but we don't set it here, so okay, okay. So as long as the digit equals true at the end, that should be fine, so let's go ahead and submit that. Yeah. Okay, so guess we're not allowed to have decimals here. After an E, we can't have decimal. So if decimal or E, then return false. Okay, there we go. So uh, yeah, like you can see, there's not that much great logic in this. It's not very clever. It's just kind of trying to cover all our bases. Um, but it does work technically. So this would be what, o, o of n, time complexity, and, and probably that's probably as good as it gets. Uh, now, the, there probably are some more clever ways to kind of take care of this, especially this one, E, is the trickiest one here. Uh, but I think it's up to you. Mm, yeah, but I think this works. And yeah, it just <laughs> takes a couple tries and a couple tests to see like what succeeds, but eventually, you know, I think anyone with some decent programming knowledge should be able to get figure this out given enough time. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.